Hi, this is Mark Struthers, and it looks like fall's rolling around again, and with fall, we have to look at COVID and flu time, and how this has impacted medical imaging today. How has COVID pandemic changed the priorities for enterprise medical imaging and imaging access for radiology departments, not just during the pandemic, but into the future? For technologists in the radiology department, COVID minimizes the use of certain imaging exams. It also alters patient management and causes increased cleaning of procedures and areas such as CT scanners and MRI. And obviously there's been a dramatic change of workflow both in the department and with portables used in the hospital environment. As a healthcare worker, you may be exposed to sources of COVID infection. These may be transmitted in three ways. First, you can come in contact with an infected person's blood or body fluids, and you can also come in contact with infectious materials. The second form of infection comes from droplets, such as a cough or a sneeze. And the last way infections are spread is through the air. Here are a couple pictures of the work environment with COVID at full swing. The health and safety of the radiologists and technologists, allied professionals and patients, and healthcare workers are of primary importance. There is no single safe uh, approach for working with patients that have or are exposed to COVID. The American College of Radiology recommends that radiology leaders work closely with hospital systems, referring providers and patients to coordinate safe and effective care. The hospital environment has always been dangerous for healthcare employees in the fact that they are exposed to many types of different contaminations and infections. Everything from C. diff to MSRA and COVID. So you have to understand how to work in this environment. Both CT scans and chest x-rays will visualize COVID, but you must understand the disease progression and when to take the images. You may have COVID and it may not display. This means that you should be careful around patients that supposedly have been exposed to COVID. They can be infectious even though it seems like they're normal. The original COVID and pandemic has quickly increased the adaptation of new technologies and will change the way medical image departments work for today and also in the long term. A chest x-ray is commonly ordered among imaging studies for patients with respiratory complaints. In a patient with early stages of COVID-19, a chest x-ray may be read as normal. In patients with severe disease, x-ray readings may resemble either pneumonia or acute respiratory distress syndrome. A chest CT is more effective than a chest x-ray in the detection of early COVID-19 disease. Of course, a CT scan, especially a 3D CT scan, is much more expensive than a chest x-ray, and you still have the problem that it doesn't show anything for the first few days after the patient gets symptoms. Although it is possible to prevent or reduce worker exposure to health hazards within the healthcare industry, healthcare workers continue to experience injuries and illnesses in the workplace. Unfortunately, cases of non-fatal occupational injury and illness with healthcare workers are among the highest of any industry in all of the United States. Healthcare workers have a high risk of contact with infectious agents due to various types of activities involved with their jobs and the possibilities of contamination are great. This is why personal protective equipment and protocols are important for healthcare workers to remain safe. Take a moment to review this graphic. It's made by the CDC and it talks about the chain of infection 
or infection transmission. Obviously, to prevent infection, cleanliness and personal protection is extremely important. With the infectious agents and COVID-19, this goes well beyond just washing your hands, although that is the primary thing to do. Make sure also that you properly dispose of sterile gowns, gloves, etc. that you use to protect yourself and the patients from contamination. Remember, you're dealing with a nosocomial infection. This is the presence of microorganisms in the hospital environment, working with immunocompromised patients, and transmission of pathogens between staff and patients and among patients. There are primarily three types of infection transmission exposures. The first is a primary indigen, the second is the secondary indigen, and the third is a exogen. What does that mean? Well, it means that with a primary indigen, you're dealing with the body's own pathogens becoming source of infection through changed immunological conditioning of your body. Secondary indigen is the body's own pathogens getting into the bloodstream or cavities through manipulation, devices, or instrumentation. And finally, an exogen is pathogens are transmitted through either personal contact or the environment. The exogen is the one that we're working with with COVID-19 and prevention is usually quite possible if you take the proper steps. Keeping the equipment clean is really, really important. I mean, how many times have you wiped out the inside of a CT scan or an MRI after a patient has gone through that modality? Realistically, the biggest source of infection is probably from something you don't think about, which is the keyboard on the computer that you're working with in the control room. Remember, we can transmit infectious diseases simply by touch and they do linger on different surfaces. Here's one we're all familiar with and we use it every day. We taught it in medical school and radiology school. For ionizing radiation, the type of protection you need is time, distance, and shielding. These are also the safest protections for healthcare workers when dealing with infection control, time, distance and shielding. Time, distance and shielding and the wearing of personal protective equipment is extremely important when you're doing portable studies throughout the hospital. If you don't protect yourself, you become an infectious vector spreading different types of infections from room to room to room. Is it important to wear protective gear and clean the portable after each interaction with a patient? Yes, it is. How about changing gloves and wearing multiple pairs during the examination itself? Every time you touch the patient or area that is possibly contaminated, you should change your gloves. Otherwise, you're just transporting the infection from, say, the patient onto your console or onto your collimator or onto your lead vest. Portable exams are riskier for both patient and healthcare workers. There is a greater probability of infection or transmission or both during the examination. Portable machines such as ultrasound or portable x-ray machines even eyewear must be disinfected for at least three minutes prior to contact time. Wipe the outside parts of the x-ray machine with cleaning cloths and a cleaner disinfectant solution. Your department should already have protocols, policies, and procedures about how to clean the portable equipment and use your PPE equipment when you're working with portable exams on patients. 
Here we see an example of a COVID-19 portable protocol for a chest x-ray. This particular protocol was designed for the x-ray technologist to take a portable chest x-ray using the DR portable without the machine entering the room. Protocols must be written also for when you do take the x-ray machine into the room and have contact with the patient. Here we see an example of trying to take a portable chest x-ray through a door. It's probable that you'll get a better examination when you actually go into the room. It also means that you and the patient are more at risk. As you can see, doing medical imaging exams today is a lot more complex and it takes more time than it did in the past. The big downside of this is we're losing more and more healthcare workers through COVID-19 and we're always running with staff shortages and now it's going to take longer to do each and every exam. Well, this is Mark Struthers saying I want to thank you for your time and attention and be safe.